Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. So I know it's been a minute, but we're back now. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. So of course we're gonna start by priming our face. We're gonna be using the Master Prime by Face Studio by Maybelline. It's supposed to hydrate and smooth the skin. It definitely hydrated, um, but it's not my favorite primer just because I did still experience a little bit of creasing. So I would give it like a good six out of 10. Now on to foundation, y'all know I like to mix shades, so I'm mixing uh, 362 Truffle and then 365 Nutmeg. They're both from the Matte Fit Me collection. Um, I've been trying out a lot of different foundations, and if y'all know me, like watching my older videos, you know like Maybelline is like my staple, my go-to. But I've been trying a lot of different foundations now, and honestly, it's kind of fallen on my list of like favorite foundations but i plan on doing like a top 10 of my favorites really soon um just because i've been trying out so many different foundations and tinted moisturizers so yeah i just want to let y'all know that So now on to highlighting and contouring. I'll be using the e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer Satin Finish in the shade Deep Chestnut and also in Tan Neutral. And then to contour, I'll be using the e.l.f. 16 Hour Camo Concealer in the shade Rich Ebony. Um, I feel like I haven't used this in a while, so I definitely had to use it because I wanted to use affordable products in this look, um, especially since these are just $6 and they're just definitely worth the price and definitely great product so 10 out of 10. So of course I highlighted first and now I'm about to contour. I know a lot of people like to do it at the same time as far as like applying it, but me personally, I like to do it in steps. So I'll highlight first and then contour. So I only do my cheeks and my forehead. I don't like to do my nose because my nose is already small. So that's why I'll go in with uh, my bronzer later on and just kind of bring back the shape again, but I don't like to necessarily contour my nose. And like I said earlier, I'm just blending everything out with one another. I was talking to my roommate, so if you see me like talking or turning to the sides because she was um, in here while I was filming or whatever, but I had really great coverage with the Maybelline Fit Me and also with the camo uh, concealer as well. They say I'm really sexy, the boys they wanna sex me, they always standing next to me, always dancing next to me. 
to me, trying to feel my heart, huh, huh, looking at my love, love. You can look, but you can touch it. If you touch it, I'ma start some drama. You don't want no drama. So here's a new product that I haven't used. I'm using the Airspun Loose Face Powder in the shade Naturally Neutral. Um, I know this used to be like really popular because it was like a um it's a drugstore product it's like what five six dollars or whatever but i never tried it but when i was like looking for new products to try this was one of them um personally it wasn't my favorite um maybe i need to try in a translucent color uh, or shade really um because honestly i felt like it left like a, a cast on my face a little bit but thank god i'd be going in with that um that matte poreless um press powder over it and coconut that I always do so it helped out a little bit but this I just did not like it I felt maybe I put too much on too maybe that's what it was but I personally am not the biggest fan of it So see, as I'm like wiping away, y'all can kind of see what I'm talking about as far as like that, just that ashy look. And I just didn't like that. Like that was just not it. So of course, going in with that Maybelline Fit Me press powder and coconut, um, that helped out a lot, a lot. But I will say it did set my face pretty well. So I will, I will give it that, but I just didn't like um, just the ashiness that it left me afterwards. And now I'm just gonna be highlighting with the Maybelline Master Chrome Metallic Highlighter in the shade Molten Topaz. And of course, to finish off my face, I'll be using the Full Spectrum Bronzer from CoverGirl in the shade Ebony. They say I'm really sexy, the boys they wanna sex me They always standing next to me, always dancing next to me Trying to feel my heart, huh, huh, looking at my love, love You can look but you And now on to eyes, I picked up the Patricia Bright Makeup Revolution palette um, Because I wanted to try different palettes or whatever So I'm over here showing you guys all the different colors um, I picked up this palette because it was just so colorful, it was really cute so with this look though i'm just gonna be using one shade and that's that red shade i was pointing at that miss tropicana so this look was actually really fun to do because it's a little different i mean it is a cut crease but it's still a little different from what i'm used to so as you can see i'm just using that small brush and putting that into my crease now one thing i will say about at least that miss tropicana shade um it wasn't as pigmented as i would have loved it to be um but it still got the job done so i will say that but i'm over here just putting it into my crease and just going halfway because i don't want to go all the way along uh, my crease and now i'm just buffing it out And I just constantly went back and buffed it out and then added more um, color to it. Um, but the thing is, it just didn't build up the way I wanted to as well. 
Um, but I also wanted to add that this look was inspired by this girl named Maya M U A. On Instagram, she did like a blue version. So I was like, oh, this would be cool if I did like a red version or whatever. So once I saw her look, I was like, let me try something different out the box. So shout out to her because she was the one who gave me the idea to do this. And now we'll be using this LA Pro Girl Concealer in the shade Warm Beige and we'll be cutting that crease. Um, I'm just going to go halfway to where um, that red shade stops just because we don't really need um, to just do too much with it basically. So yeah, I think I've been getting better at doing cut crease. This still took me some time, but I've definitely gotten a lot better since the first time I've done it. Religion, I say no, but I keep giving, so I keep on taking. And no, I ain't taking. We can keep on taking. I keep on demonstrating my love, my love, my love, my love. You love my lady lumps, my hump, my hump, my hump, my humps. They got you. They say I'm really sexy, the boys they wanna sex me They always standing next to me, always dancing next to me Trying to feel my hum, hum, looking at my lump, lump You can look but you can touch it if you touch and I'm just setting my area that I did that cut crease for. Um, I like to set it before I put on any other product. And then I'm going to be going back in with that pressed powder and coconut all over my lids just because the red is the main focus. And also um, just to uh, put that color back on my eyes as far as that uh, coconut shade um, just to keep that area neutral and then the focus on the red. And once I'm done with that, I'll be going back in with Miss Tropicana to create that wing liner look right there. And with doing this wing look, I want to start in the middle of my eye and just kind of pull it out essentially um, and then just kind of wing it towards the end like how you would do any other wing look. Um, I think I just realized that I don't ever do my wing liners on camera so if you would like to see that like if you struggle with doing a wing liner um, and if you want me to do it on camera like a how to. Um, I will definitely do that. Just let me know and I'll do that because doing a wing liner is like my favorite thing. Like I feel like that pulls the look all together. But me personally, it's because like my eyes, like I feel like a wing liner looks best on my eye shape. And then once I added the lashes, this look came together. Like, I honestly love it. Like, this is one of my favorites so far. So now, 
on to lips we're about to be done with this of course a brown liner to line my lips and then i'll be using the butter gloss from nyx in the shade fortune cookie they say you're really sexy the boys they want to sex me they always standing next to me always dancing next to me trying to feel my heart looking at my love love you can look but you can touch it if you touch it i'ma start some drama you don't want no drama no no drama no 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 drama so don't pull on my hand boy you ain't my man boy i'm just trying to and there y'all go here is the finished look i love this look just because it's so simple yet it was just so pretty to look at especially in the sun like i just loved how the red look um but i think that's it please like comment subscribe let me know what you guys think and i will be seeing you guys in my next video Oh, my